Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and today we're going to do something a little different. Um, definitely not a jewelry piece, but something that you can use jewelry pieces in. So Debbie sent me this beautiful mermaid, and you may remember seeing this on a friend mail or an unboxing that I did. So it's gorgeous. It's got abalone shell in it. It's just mother of pearl. It's just beautiful. But it's rather large, and I didn't know. I was trying to think of what I could do with it. So I found this picture frame in the neighbor's trash. <laughs> um, on trash day here in Daltona, everybody sets things out by the trash can that they don't want. And this was out there, and I was like, well, that's really beautiful. I can use that. So I grabbed it up, and I am going to create a scene with shells and stained glass with this mermaid as the focal, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So first of all, our encouraging word for today is one of my favorite scriptures. It is John 16, 33, and it says, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Love that one. That is so, so good. Okay, so I've laid out some um, parchment paper, wax paper, because I don't want to mess my table up. And I have taken um, the glass out of this frame. So I'm going to set the frame aside for a minute. And I'm going to clean the glass really well just with glass cleaner. Let me get all this stuff out of the way. I'm just going to do some really good glass cleaning here. We'll probably have to clean it again, but I want to make sure that the edges here, we're, we're going to glue it into the frame because it's going to hang in a window probably if it's stained glass. It's going to um, be really nice to hang in a window in a kitchen or whatever, and you don't want um, anything to get on it. Now that looks like it may be scratched. Let's spray some more on there. I don't know what that could be, but it's not cleaning off, but that's okay because we can put something right over top of it. Oh no, it came off, whatever it was. Okay, I don't know what it was, but it came off. All right, so we got that nice and cleaned up. Now I'm going to take the frame here and turn it upside down and lay this glass aside for a second. Now, this is what I have. This is DAP. It is clear silicone, so Dynaflex 230, window door siding and trim. It's just um, caulking and it's clear. And I'm gonna use this to put this picture frame to glue it in this, the glass in this frame. So I'm not really <laughs> well versed in these types of contraptions, but I think you just cut the end of it off and hopefully it's gonna come out if I squeeze it. Chris is busy or I would be asking for his assistance. Let's just keep squeezing and see what happens. I may need to cut a bigger hole, I don't know. I'm getting caught on, yeah, let me cut a little bit. I mean, I, st I want it to have kind of a fine hole because I want to be able to direct where it goes and all that, but <laughs> maybe I, uh, there we go. All right, let's just see what happens. I'm wanting to put a bead of this all along in here, so I'm just kind of uh, pressing this little thing, hoping that it's doing something. I may have to get Chris's help with this because I've not, I've, re I've worked one of these that's already been opened before, but I've never really done one from scratch. And so I'm just trying to get something to come out of the end of it. Nothing is. All right, let me go ask what I'm doing wrong. Okay, so I went to ask Chris, and apparently you got to punch a hole in the end of this thing with this big old long needle thing. Oh, there it is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just run a bead of this stuff all along the inside of this frame. 
Now, this stuff dries clear, it says. And if it doesn't, that'll be a problem. But if it does, we're in good shape. So, I think it will, I hope. And I'm just going to put this all on the inside of here. And this is going to be really strong, hopefully, and hold the frame, the glass in the frame, and it wouldn't fall out. That's important. All right. There we go. Lay that down there. Now, we're just going to take the glass and put it here. Just drop it in. Okay, now, I'm going to kind of run my finger along there just to smooth out any of that talking. Okay. And there's some on the front, but like I said, it's supposed to dry clear. But I might try to hold it in there and see if I can just kind of run it along there too. I just don't want there to be big globs of it is all. Let's see if I can just hold the glass in here with one hand and try to do this with the other. I am no expert at this by any means. This is the first time I've ever done this. Um, I've been watching some YouTube videos. So there's this lady called the Crazy Glass Lady. She's pretty awesome. Um, and you should watch her if you're interested in doing this. But I am trying to just kind of, you know, I want to learn how to do it. I think it's beautiful. And some people pour resin in and do beautiful things. So, yeah, I'd like to learn. Okay, I think that's pretty good for that because, like I said, this is supposed to dry clear. And we're going to be putting a lot of things over it. So I'm going to turn it back over here. And we're just going to let this sit for, I'm probably going to let this thing sit for about 24 hours because I don't want to start doing anything to it and then have the glass come apart or have the glass come out, you know. So let it sit and dry for about 24 hours and then come on back and we'll see what we got going on. Okay, so I figured while that's drying up, I'm going to show you what else we're going to be using for this. So if you want to get together supplies, you can. So here is the mermaid I'm going to be using. You can use any focal piece that you wanted. I have some pieces of stained glass that I have cut, and I use this thing to cut them. Again, I'm no expert, <laughs> and if you really want to learn how to cut glass, you need to watch the crazy glass lady. She's really awesome. She is the one that I watched to cut these little strips, okay? And mine did not turn out near as good as hers did, but... Um, I think they did pretty good actually considering that I've never done this before. <laughs> so here are our little um, glass strips and I'm going to be using these for waves. Okay, and I've got like three different colors. Then I'm going to be using a lot of shells. So I have some lightning whelk pieces that I found. Now this is what is really good if you can't find whole shells. You can use pieces of shells on these kinds of things. So I've got a couple lightning whelk pieces. I have some flat scallop pieces. I've got some clam shells here. Lots of those. I have this clam shell that's a different type from these. More flat scallop pieces. Another little twisty. Um, I've got a couple of scallops in here, some calico scallops that I'm gonna maybe use. I'm not sure about any of this. I mean, I may use all of it. I may use some of it. We'll see. I have a piece of an angel wing. Here's another clam. I've got some of these things. Um, I think they're called turbines. And then I have some more clams. And what I've done is I've kind of used a sandy brownish color for some of the clams. And like I said, I'm not sure. It's all going to, you know, it'll come together as it comes together. And we'll have to see how it happens. But it is storming outside big time <laughs> if you're hearing lightning and or hearing thunder and rain you really are it's storming outside um okay so i've got those more pieces of flat scallop here here's another of these interesting little 
clams that are not quite like those. Um, and then I have some coquinas. I have a lot of coquinas. Let me get these clams out of the way real quick. Okay, so a bunch of coquinas. These, and I'm trying to stick with like a lighter palette. I want the shells and everything to mainly be white. And, oh, it's really raining. <laughs> you can hear it outside. I want the shells to mainly be white and the, um, you know, maybe a touch of brown. Here are some shark eyes. Okay, so we've got some shark eyes there. More coquinas and some more clams over here. Here's another scallop that's really pretty. So I just pulled out some of my shells and we're gonna see how they look. And like I said, I've never done this before, so it's gonna be an interesting little project um, and it's gonna be kind of just trial and error because I've never done it, but I want to use this mermaid. I think she is so pretty. And um, I think this will be a great way to use her because she's just a little heavy for a pendant for me. So um, that's what I have. I may pull out some more shells. Um, I'm going to look through my shells. I have a couple button tops I may use. And um, I don't know. We'll see. And then I have some pearls. So I did grab these pearls too. Um, and we'll, they're going to figure in along the way. So those are the products that I have, or the things that I have that we're gonna use so far. And like I said, I may pull out more, um, it just depends, but you can get your stuff together that's gonna dry for 24 hours, and then I will come back and we'll get to started, get to working on it, okay? I'll see you then. Okay, so it is the next day and I have my um, frame. This is all glued in. Now I will say, um, I've had to take a razor blade and do some cleanup on these edges. Um, you don't want to get the silicone on the glass and I did. So see this, I'm going to have to go back in here. I've got a little razor blade and it does clean up fairly easily with a razor blade. You can just take it and scrape it, but you don't want that to show. Now on the bottom where I'm going to be putting the shells and the sand and all that, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. But up here, I definitely don't want that silicone to be on the glass part showing. But it did um, adhere into the frame and it did dry clear. It's just that, you know, you can still see it on the glass, but I'll clean that up more, you know, as I need to. So now I have some Gorilla Glue. This is what I've got here. Clear Gorilla Glue. It says it bonds virtually everything. <laughs> so we're going to see. And that's what I'm going to glue my waves on with. Okay. Now a couple other um, items that I grabbed. I got my resin. I'm going to use, this is just resin I bought off of Amazon. I'm going to be using that and some of this white sand from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm going to mix it with resin and put it down here for the sand. Um, not right now. That'll be later. But I just wanted to show you in case you would like to get those products to use on yours. And then I also got these little sparkly things from the Dollar Tree. And I might put a couple of these on because they're really pretty. So that's left over from another project. All right, so let's see if we can figure out how to use this glue. <laughs> it's got this thing that looks like needs to be opened. And it is not easy to get open. Goodness. Might have to use a pair of pliers to get this open. Goodness gracious. Okay. I don't guess, maybe I don't need to do this. Why is that pulled open? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna cut that off. I'm gonna cut the top off here, this glue. Okay. Now, um, my water, I'm gonna lay out. I had this all laid out before. I was so silly the way I did this. I had this all laid out nice and pretty. <laughs> and I hadn't glued my glass in yet, so obviously I'm going to have to redo it. And the way that I'm going to do this is I want to kind of make these waves dip into each other if I can. And I want to, 
you know, I just want to make it look like, like this. Like it's kind of natural and really this is going to be pretty, I think. So I'm just kind of going across like this. I only have a few of these green pieces, these really pretty emerald green. And I'm just going to try to fill in spots with the small ones. I'm just going to lay him right there. I have several smaller pieces here. But let's see here. And like I said, I'm just going to try to kind of make them lay in each other. And then the mermaid, I'm going to put on top kind of like this. So that's what I'm doing right now is I'm just laying out all my water pieces. Let's see how that goes into that one. And then I might need a, I could get a pointier one to go in there maybe. Let's see here. Mm, I'd have to do blue. Yeah. And I just really want it to look like the water just is kind of flowing, but I want to mix these colors together. I could stick that green one there, maybe. I don't know. I don't really like that. So it's just trial and error, figuring how, you know, it looks good. And I'm not really going to worry about getting too much of like, you know, the same color together. I'm just going to put them out. Um, if I end up with, you know, several blues together, then that's fine several greens together that's fine i'm just i just want to lay them out so that they look pretty and look like they're natural kind of flowing water so that's my main goal here and then i'm going to glue them down but again the crazy glass lady she's really amazing and I'm, I watched her to figure out how to cut these pieces because, you know, you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> it's a little bit intimidating at first. And I have no idea what I'm doing. So she was a big help on her video showing how to cut these glass pieces. So you can look her up. Crazy glass lady. She makes all kinds of gorgeous stuff out of stained glass and pieces of glass. And she's just amazing. But, let's see. And I'm just, again, trying them in here to see what's going to fit where. And I'm just going to try to make it look natural. Let's see. I don't really want them pointing down. I want them pointing up. I really need one for here in this spot. Let's see. Maybe this one. Yeah, that looks good there. Okay. There we go. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to lay these all out here so you can see how I'm doing it. I'm just laying them out. Um, I'm going to use all of them, I think. I'd like to use all of them. And uh, just try to make the water pattern. And so lay yours out and come on back and we'll start to gluing. Okay, so here's how I've got this laid out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my glue here, and I kind of want to put this out in a little cup. You know, this glue didn't have any sort of cap or anything. I'm going to have to find something to put over top of it. But anyway, I kind of want to put it out in a little cup and use a toothpick. So let me, let me grab something here.
Okay, so I've got a little silicone cup here. I'm just going to put some of this glue in here. And then I'm going to use my toothpick and I'm going to start at the bottom and go up, I think. And I'm just going to apply the glue to the back of each glass piece. And I'm not going to use a ton. I mean, I want to put enough on there to hold it, but I don't want it like seeping out the sides all over the place. Okay, so that's how I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do each piece just like I have it laid out here uh, with this Gorilla Glue. And we'll, we'll see how this turns out. And as you can see, I've got kind of, um, I've got space in between these waves. I may try to push them in just a little closer, but I don't want them real super close together. I like the space because this is a, you know, it's going to hang in a window. So there will be light shining through and I want that light to, to shine through and really, you know, I think it'll be pretty if there are some spaces in between these water pieces. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to glue these down just like I've got them on here and, uh, you know, get each one glued down where I want it. And then I'm going to let this dry for 24 hours. I'm not going to touch it. Um, I, well, I may do the resin. We'll see. We may do the resin in the sand because that's something that'll have to dry for 24 hours too. So if we can just do it all at once, that might be good. So, um, but glue all your pieces down, then come on back and we'll decide on that. Okay, so I've got my waves all glued down and I my glue here is getting very tacky. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and glue the mermaid on uh, with this glue. And to do that, I'm just putting some of the glue on this piece that she has come with. Um, this, I guess, was maybe a box. It was a box clasp, I think. And um, I'm just going to spread the glue on here. The rest of what's in this little cup. And I'm going to put a little bit more on. In these small places. Some more up here. And I'm going to set that on there. Well, no, I'm not. Okay, I was going to set that on there to keep it from drying out. But I'm going to have to do something with that. Um, I'm just going to place her where I want her to go. Which is right about here. Now she's wanting to tip, and I don't want her to tip. She's wanting to kind of lean this way. So to keep her from doing that, I think I'm just going to stick this popsicle stick right under here, a craft stick right under there, and that should, yeah, that seems to be holding her straight. So that's about where I want her to go. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue her on while we've got, you know, while I have the glue out there and stuff. Now, let me clean off this. I don't want glue on this glass, and it looks like I've got glue on it from the little cup. Now, that will probably scrape off as well with the razor blade, but I'm just trying not to get too much stuff all over it all over the glass, but probably, especially when it dries, it will scrape off, so we'll be able to clean it up, but yeah, just try if you can not to get glue everywhere. I didn't realize that I had glue on the bottom of that little cup. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for now, and then I am going to come back and do the um, resin and the sand down here because I just want to make sure that this all gets dried really well and I don't have you know sand get sand up in there and stuff because I don't want sand up in there so I'm just going to let this dry for about 24 hours and then I'll come back and we'll move on to the next step okay so here is my mermaid she is glued on and so is my water I'm going to grab my glasses. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and mix up 
the resin and the sand. So I'm gonna put some glitter in this as well, I think. But here are my two cups. And this resin, you just mix equal parts. So I'm gonna scoot this over and set it on the table to make sure that it's level. Okay, let me set the cups out here. And I'm just gonna mix up equal parts of the resin. And I'm not doing a ton, I just, I want enough to put, oh my gosh, can't get the lid off this. I want enough to put the sand in just so it will, um, you know, sit and not, oh my God, I can't get the lid off this, I'm gonna have to go get Chris. Okay, got the lids off those, that was an experience. So this is the resin and I'm gonna pour it. I'm just, I'm just doing a little bit, not a huge amount. Um, I want to mix the sand in, like I said. I'm afraid to put that lid back on there. I'm afraid it's going to harden up again. I'll have to uh, try to clean them off a little bit. And then let's see if I can see this one here. I'm going to do it to the same little, just doing the same amount. I did go one higher, didn't I? No? Yeah. There we go. I think I put more hardener in than I did resin. Which, if you're going to err on the side of... No, maybe I didn't. It looks about the same. I'm going to add just a tad bit more resin here. The uh, best way to do this is to weigh it, but I never do. I just do it. I mean, these do have little lines, so. Okay, and then I just mix the resin in with the hardener. Because the hardener's thicker and it's harder to get out of the cup, so I always mix the resin in. Put the resin part in the hardener. Okay. Just going to mix it up really good here. Okay, so it, it looks um, a little, it's clear when you put it in, and then it kind of turns cloudy when you start to mix. The chemical reaction of the resin and the hardener together turns kind of cloudy. And then it will turn clear again. So I just scrape the sides, make sure you're getting it all mixed up in here really well. Scrape the sides of the cup, just mix it. You don't want to do it real fast because you don't want a ton of a, uh, bubbles in there. Some bubbles are okay. It's We're going to have the sand in here, so it's probably not going to be a huge, it's not going to show if there's bubbles is what I'm trying to say. But I'm just going to mix that up until it looks clear. You want it to be completely clear. No little striations in there. You just want it really clear and uh, really nice and just clear and mix together really 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 well so that's what I'm doing mixing it up okay now that looks pretty good it's mixed up pretty good so I have got some glitter here some iridescent glitter I thought I had a finer iridescent glitter I wish I did but apparently I don't so we're just going to use some of this just dumping it right in here I don't want a huge amount of it, but I just want to make the sand a little bit sparkly. And then I have the sand that I got from the Dollar Tree. Let's see, I thought I had an open bag. Yeah, here's an open one. This is just white sand. And I'm going to mix some of this in with this resin. Okay. And then I'm just going to mix it up here. And you want it to be kind of thick. So I'm just going to mix and mix. Get it all mixed up. Now this is one reason that we sealed the, um, the frame with the silicone. is because when this resin goes in, it won't leak out the sides. 
Um, another thing you can do is put some painter's tape on there, but I think we're good. That's about what you want. You want a pretty thick consistency. I'm going to add a little bit more glitter in. Okay. This is going to be pretty. And then I'm going to add a little bit more sand. I just want the sand to be nice and white. I'm about to run out of rain in my cup. There we go. Okay. So as you can see, it's got a very gritty, sandy consistency. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to pour this all along the bottom here. Okay, we don't want it to go outside the frame, and I don't really want it to go up above my waves too much. It can just a little. I mean, they can. So I'm just going to spread it out. I'm probably going to have to clean it off that frame a little right there. Okay, so spread it out here. This is going to be our sand. It's okay if it gets in the waves a little. I don't want it in there a whole lot, so I'm just going to kind of spread it over here. This is totally just, you know, up to your own creative control how you want to do it. But I do know that I don't want it right there on the frame, so I'm going to clean that off. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of scrape it off of that. Now, if you have some that you don't want, you know, you want to clean up the frame here, you can just take a paper towel. Go along there. Resin is self-leveling. I'm just going to try to... Get it off my waves a little bit. I'm going to grab another paper towel. Okay, so I've got a few Q-tips too, and I'm just going to wipe the waves off just a little. I really don't mind there being some sand up on there because it's kind of how it is when you're at the ocean. but I'd rather it stay down here and not get up in there. Okay. Now, we are going to be putting seashells down, too. So, you know, if your resin gets a little place that you don't want it to be, um, it's okay. You can cover it with a seashell. But I am going to get it off the frame down here, or at least even it out. There we go. And if you feel like that there's too much in there, you could always take a little, scoop a little bit out. So uh, it's not so... There we go. Okay. I think that's pretty, actually. <laughs> and it has just enough glitter in it. It's not too much. I want this to be pretty, but not look too cartoony, I guess you would say. I don't know, because this mermaid is so pretty. I just want it to be, just to be real pretty. Okay, so just getting this cleaned out here a little bit there. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now the resin, um, it will set up and I it takes 24 hours to fully get hard and cure and I'm trying to debate if I want to put some shells on here now. 
I think I may. I do have these tiny coquinas. What I don't want is for them to sink down in it, but like, I'm gonna kind of line the edge here with these little coquinas. So, just kind of like this is what I'm planning to do with these guys. Not really in an even row or anything, just kind of haphazard like they would be if they were up on the beach. But I want to make a line of them here. Whoops. Well, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to try to pick it up if it fell down in there because it'll get everywhere. It'll get resin everywhere. And I'm just going to lay these all along here, these little coquinas. I have some browner ones, some yellowish ones, some whiter ones, and I'm just kind of going to layer them along. The thing I don't want to do is have them sinking down into the resin. That's what I don't want. So, just trying to kind of lay them along the top here. Oops. Now, after this resin sets up a little, we'll be able to um, do all kinds of stuff here. But I'm just trying to give it a chance to set up a little bit and not be too runny. So I'm just cleaning this out a little bit. I don't like how that's down in there. There we go. Okay, so um, there are other shells that I'm gonna use that I could put on here. Um, I don't know that I really want to put too much on right now because it is gonna sink if I do. Now what I am going to do is make this 3D. So I'm going to have some shells out here, some pearls, um, just, you know, we're just going to layer pretty stuff everywhere. And I do want to get in some of these little, I love these little gems that are sparkly. I want to put some of these in, in some of these little spots. So it's a good time to do that now when we've got the resin that's wet here. See, I can kind of... Uh, use it as a glue and resin is it's gonna hold anything in there that you stick in it is gonna stay When it's dry So I'm just gonna stick that guy right there And I may do a couple more here. I like these little gems are really pretty There they go uh, These I used in another project but they're really pretty. Very sparkly and just really nice. So yeah, I'm just going to add a few of these in here along the top. I'll put more in down, all down and through here too. But right now I'm just going to stick them along this line right here. Kind of gives an effect of bubbles or maybe uh, just sparkly things in the sand. Pretty. All right, let's look at the coquinas. So, the coquinas, I just want to lay all along here like this. They're really pretty. A lot of people don't pick coquinas up, and I don't usually, um, but they do make really pretty jewelry because they're so small and delicate. They make really pretty little earrings. A 
but I was at Flagler Beach one day, and literally that's all there is at Flagler Beach is coquinas. Like, there are literally no other shells there. <laughs> so, I picked up because that's all I had to pick up. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's pretty. Now, I do want to add in some of these other shells. Um, some of the ones I want to do on the outside here. I'm wanting to make this quite 3D. And I really like this, um, this conch right here. This uh, It's a whelk, actually, a lightning whelk. But it's got a big crack in it. And I'm not sure what I can do with that. I don't really... I want to use it with that big crack. And then I have this lightning whelk too, but it's got this piece on the bottom that I would need to trim off. And I don't know if my nippers, glass nippers, will trim that, or I'm going to try. Actually, they kind of do. There we go. Okay, so I just trimmed that up a little with these glass numbers. I didn't want to do it so much over the thing because I don't want to get it in there, but there we go. Okay. Yeah, if your shell's thick enough, the part that you're trying to trim, the glass numbers will work. But it has to be a pretty thick part of your shell because the glass numbers, as you can see, have the space in between them to allow for the glass. Okay, so this lightning whelk would be really pretty right there. So I've got my glue here, um, and I don't really want to use the resin to glue these down out here on the edge because I don't want it to show up. So I've got my little cup that I had my glue in earlier, and look what I did. I took a little bag and a hair tie. I wasn't sure what else to do. It didn't come with a lid. So um, I'm just going to put a little glue in here, this Gorilla Glue. This stuff works really good. And I have a toothpick from before. And I'm just going to go ahead, put some glue down where I want my lightning whelk to go. I just got it all over the side. It kind of strings up. It's <laughs> but I'm just going to set him right there. So I definitely want this to be 3D. Let me clean that off. The frame right there. There we go. And so where he's touching, where the lightning whelk is touching, I tried to put the glue. And it will get hard or harder here in just a second. It'll set up a little bit. Straighten that out a little. Okay. So now, let's see here. I have some, uh, I have a couple beautiful scallops. And I really just want to do, I want to build up here along the side of the frame. And then I want to put some pearls in. Um, so I have some pearls here in different sizes. Dump some out right there. And I have all kinds of shells over here. Just really pretty white. I did. I went with a lot of white. So this clam I would kind of like to put in here, but I don't really want to lay that down into the resin yet because it'll sink. So I'm just going to wait a minute on him. This is a turbine. And what I really want to do is just build up along the edge, but I'm not even sure. Now, this one has a lot of color in it. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. I may stick to just the whites and the... That would be pretty right there. That shark eye. Yeah, I might do that. So, just gluing these on. Yeah, that's cute. Just gluing them on in different directions, different ways. Um, I am going to add some bigger shells up in there, but I kind of want to keep the bigger shells down here to the bottom. But I, I'm going to add a few in up in here, just like, you know, that aren't huge. Like these, probably. Here's another turbine. So this part, you just, you know, you just got to decorate decorate it like you want it to be. It's, it's your own creative control. 
Get this out of the way a minute. I need to pour that into something, that resin, into a mold or something. So like that guy, I may just put right there. I just want to kind of build up these corners with some pretty stuff. This is a pretty piece of an angel wing. And this is what you can use your little pieces for. You know, you can do really pretty little mosaics and just different um, pictures and whatever with your pretty shells. And even pieces of shells. You know, you can just do all kinds of stuff with it. There's another shark eye. I would like to get it over in here somewhere. Let's maybe put him right there. See if I can put a coquina underneath a little bit right here. There we go. Um, so you really are just, we're going to have to let the resin set up pretty much before we add too much more on there or it'll just sink down. So probably that's what I'm going to do. Just going to let the resin kind of get firm and then I will come back in about, I don't know, three or four hours when things have kind of set and we'll continue to add our shells in. I don't want to add too much, you know, I don't want to overdo it, but I do want to add some more in here and just make a pretty little scene. So I'm going to let the resin set up, get harder, a little bit thicker, and then I'll be back. Okay, so here's my picture so far. I've added a few things to it, some shells and um, some pearls and stuff, and I'm just going to do the finishing touches. This Gorilla Glue seems to work really well for this, and these little silicone cups are pretty awesome because I think the resin comes out of them really easily, so I don't know if this Gorilla Glue will. Yeah, it just peels right out. So if you can get some of these little silicone cups, I think they come, on, come from Amazon, and they're really good for the glue. So I'm just going to put a little bit more glue in here. It might have dried on the tip there. Yeah, there we go. A little bit more glue in there. This glue seems to work pretty good. Um, it holds the stuff pretty well. So I think I'm going to put one more little coquina here to cover this crack on this um, piece of angel wing. Let's scoot that up. Oops. The table's a mess. Okay. So I've got this crack on this piece of angel wing. I just want to cover it with something. So I'm going to put this little coquina here. The only thing about this glue is it stays pretty runny for a few minutes. So it's kind of hard to get things to stay where you want them to. Like right for, you know, to get set up. So I just, you kind of have to hold it there or have some way to balance it there. Just be very gentle. Okay, so we got that coquina there. Now, um, I was just going to fill in with some pearls, maybe up here a little bit. Let's look up here. On this part at the top, just maybe a couple little pearls around here. I don't want to do a whole lot more because I like it kind of, uh, I don't want to do, you know, I don't want to make it overdone. So I'm just going to stick a couple little pearls on here. I do really like this Gorilla Glue though. It does seem to hold, um, it seems to hold things really, really well. There we go. And maybe one right up here. And so, you know, it does have to sit flat here until everything dries really good. And everything is dried except for the stuff I'm adding on right now, but it'll have to sit flat until all of it dries. I was going to look at the back of this part right here and see if I needed to add anything back in here. See, I have some glue showing here, so I might add a piece of like a flat scallop in here. Yeah, that would be good. Cover that glue up a little bit that 
got on there. I didn't notice that when I was cleaning it up yesterday. So let me just lay this flat scallop in there. I think that'll, oh yeah, that'll cover that up nicely and that'll be a good little piece to put in there. You can kind of hold it for a minute until it, but really it's almost like you have to prop something <laughs> to hold these things like that. <laughs> that will hold it really well. Okay, and I may put a pearl right here. All right, and I think that's all I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to leave it now to dry. Put that back there. Turn that pearl so the hole isn't showing right on top. Okay. And I was debating doing something up in here, but honestly, I think it has enough with all of this. I don't think I really need to do much more to it. I put that pearl there. That's just a piece of something. Um, do I need any pearls along here? Actually, one right here would probably be good. Okay. I think it's looking really pretty. Um, I held it up in front of the window a few minutes ago, and this just looks really pretty with the light shining in. So she's good and solid on here. There's no parts of her that are, I mean, she's not going to come off. So I think this is good. I think I like just how it is right now, and I'm going to leave it. I was had considered maybe adding a couple more up here, but I don't think it needs it. I think it's got enough, and it doesn't really even need anything there. I think it's good. Okay, so I'm going to leave it sit. Here it is. I'm going to let it sit. Oh, my coquina fell off. <laughs> I may have to prop something up on him. Put, put something there to prop him up, too, just like I did. I'm doing this. Um, but I'm going to leave it and let it sit until it dries, and everything is dried, and then I will bring it back and show it to you like hanging so you can see how it's going to look when it hangs. So, all right, see you later. Okay, so here's the finished product. I just set it up in my light box here because I don't have a window that I can sit it in without hanging it and I don't have the hanger hooked on. So, but I think it turned out really cute um, for my first time. <laughs> so I'm going to make one for my mom for Christmas with something, not a mermaid, but something else. But I wanted to say thank you to Debbie again for the mermaid. It's just absolutely beautiful, and I think it looks really good on this. Um, it was, I think, originally a pendant, but I was afraid to try to make it into a pendant. Um, it seemed kind of delicate to me, and I was afraid I would crack it. <laughs> Plus, it's kind of large for a pendant. So um, I think it looks really pretty on here, and I'm going to hang this in the window and yeah, it's a work of art. <laughs> so thank you again to Debbie and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.